guys, what's going on? Okay, got another highlight video here. Uh, Tito Trinidad, Felix Trinidad, one of the greatest ever. Uh, definitely one, of, probably the greatest uh, Puerto Rican fighter of all time. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe there's a debate on that. I'm not sure. Um, I think he's, I think his career stacks up past Miguel Cotto's. Um, just the way he just destroyed people from 147 to 160, all the way up until he got to Bernard Hopkins, of course. Um, you know, Hopkins just outclassed him, beat him uh, back in 2001, two weeks after the uh, September 11th deal happened, of course, and it was postponed for two weeks because of that. So <clears throat> it was in New York in Madison Square Garden. So that was a big deal for something that big to return so quickly for something for an event of that magnitude to return. You know, so quickly after 9-11 uh, happened and everything, it was just a crazy time. Uh, the fight was scheduled for September 15th, and of course, you know, that was a Saturday, that, and it happened that Tuesday, which was 9-11. So it got postponed for two weeks to uh, September 29th. Uh, that was the Hopkins fight, but yeah, ever since then, Tito, of course, was never the same. He, he came up with a great win against Mayorga. Um, Ricardo Mayorga, in 2004, he retired for a couple of years. He had one fight after the Hopkins fight, but um, came back and destroyed Mayorga. Great, great fight there, but then he lost to Winky Wright, retired for about another three years, and came back and lost to Roy Jones, and that was it. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, guys, let's get into these highlights. These are going to be very entertaining. He was a knockout artist, so let's just get into it right now. Just so many great fights, and he... He ruined a lot of careers, too, guys, to be honest. Fernando Vargas and David Reed, two, uh, two Olympians from the 96 team, he, he messed their careers up, especially David Reed. I don't think David, uh, David Reed might have fought a couple of more times, but he just never, ever the same. I don't know why his team put him in there with Trinidad so early. Wow, look at that. That is so young right there. <laughs> I do not even know who that is against, but that is a very, very young Trinidad right there. I think Trinidad started in 1988 or maybe like 90. I can't remember, but yeah, he, he you know, look at that. <laughs> he just, I mean, he had, he had dynamite in his hands, especially for that weight class. You know, he started at welterweight. Uh, I believe he beat Maurice Blocker for the first time, for the first title he won. Look at that body shot. Just crumbled him. Yeah, here it is right here. And Walker was a good good fighter. He lays him out, just flat out. Look at that. Mm. And that's a campus, I believe, Yori Boy Campus. And he was, I mean, he was top fighter at the time. No, I don't think that was campus, guys. He 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 knocked him out in four. We'll probably see that one though. Yeah, I know he knocks him out like when he's up against the ropes. It's brutal. <laughs> I don't know who that is. It looks like an HBO fight. Here's Campus right here. Yeah, here we go. Yep. And Campus, a top fighter at the time, for sure. This was in like 94 or so. I mean, look at that. Oh, my God. It's insane. Mm. Sit down. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, guys, the, there's just music on this, so it's not. You, I'm not like cutting out the sound or anything. So... You know, otherwise I would have it up so we could hear the punches landing and the reactions of the crowd and everything. Oh, snuck a left hook to the body in there. Wow, that's crazy. Um, for some reason, I'm not, not remembering who most of these guys are other than Walker and Campus. I believe that's uh, Troy Waters right there. Don't know why I remember his name, but <laughs> another victim to Trinidad. But I mean... He just had so much power, and he was a very good boxer, too. I mean, yes, he did get outboxed by Winky Wright. I mean, but Wright was, you know, top top level. Hopkins, of course, just had a genius IQ for a boxer, you know, in the ring. He just had a brilliant game plan, and he just dominated Trinidad. It was unbelievable. There's Pernell Whitaker, of course, and he uh, that was towards the end of uh, Whitaker's career. That was his last fight, I believe, until a couple years later when he would again be just outmatched and just too old, just past his prime. Unfortunately, Whitaker did die years ago, um, very young age, which was very unfortunate. But, uh, you know, definitely one of the best defensive fighters ever, one of the most skilled fighters of all time, Pernell Whitaker. Um, 
But yeah, Trinidad beat him. He was really the only one to ever decisively beat him. Of course, it was towards the end of his career. Uh, I thought Whitaker clearly beat De La Hoya. They gave De La Hoya the decision. Of course, Whitaker got robbed it, uh, against uh, Jose Luis Ramirez. He, they gave him a draw, which he won. He came back and won the rematch. Uh, then he got screwed out of a win with Julio Cesar Chavez as well. They called that one a draw. So, um, no, I think uh, they gave Ramirez the win, actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. But, yeah. Whitaker clearly outclassed uh, Chavez, and they scored at a draw, which was just ridiculous. But anyway, there's Trinidad winning a fight he really didn't win against Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> he, um, De La Hoya won the first nine rounds, and you know after that, Trinidad did have to chase him around for the last three. Not many people were really just terribly upset because they just were disgusted at how De La Hoya fought the last three rounds, which was just insane. He did, he did nothing but run because he thought he had the fight in the bag, which he really did. He really should have. But, you know, hey, De La Hoya got some decisions he didn't deserve either, like the Whitaker fight, for one. Um, but anyway, so here's David Reed, guys. He's going to lay a beating on him. He did from the – I think he even knocked him down in the first round as well. He knocked him down about four times, messed his eye up very badly. You can see it right there. And that would be the end of uh, Reed's career. Like I say, I think he fought maybe once or maybe two or three times more after that, just here and there. But that eye was always a big, huge problem for Reed after that. Trinidad did that damage, and it was, you know, long-lasting. It lasted the rest of Reed's career, always gave him problems. This was a great fight right here, Fernando Vargas. And again, they threw Vargas in there too early. I mean, he he was a champion and everything. He had beat some good fighters, but look at that. And Vargas Vargas came back after this horrible first round. I mean, oh, that's the twelfth where it ends. But uh, yeah, right here he knocked him down five times. Uh, Trinidad did did get dropped. Oh, look at that. That's William Joppy. He just absolutely murdered Joppy. But, um, yeah, just to talk about that Vargas fight a little bit, guys, that was unbelievable. Vargas got dropped twice in the first round, and Trinidad was even celebrating on the ropes. He thought it was over. But uh, Vargas did weather the storm. He did come back. He, he I think about maybe the fourth or fifth, Vargas began to really kind of do something. He knocked Trinidad down once. I believe that was the fourth round. It was a flash knockdown. Trinidad uh, did get knockdowns a good bit against him. He, he got flash knockdowns quite a bit. Uh, you know, his opponents were able to catch him here and there. Never really hurt up until the Hopkins fight where Hopkins stopped him in the last and final round. But, uh, yeah, so um, that was just an insane fight, guys. That was at 154. Um, Trinidad won the unified title with that because he had beat Reed for one of the belts, I believe, earlier in the year the year 2000. But um, yeah, Vargas weathered the storm, came back strong in that fight, uh, was having some very good moments against Trinidad. Trinidad did deliberately low blow Vargas a few times, and that kind of swung the momentum back in his favor, gave him a little bit of a rest while Vargas was recuperating. So, you know, but it was kind of back and forth there through the middle rounds. And then, you know, you could slowly see Trinidad just taking over. Just an all-time great fight. One of my favorite fights as far as just a back and forth thing goes. And two two greats. I mean, two of my favorite fighters, and William Joppy. He just had no chance. This was Trinidad's first fight at middleweight back in 2001, and him, of course, he won this, you know, and then because of that, he would go on to fight Hopkins, who would beat Keith Holmes also in a middleweight tournament somewhat. Oh, he just, oh my God, look at that, right on the temple it looked like, and then as he's going down, his head hit the canvas too, just brutal. Trinidad was a monster. He was an absolute beast. But, uh, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's it's so unfortunate that he just, you know, after the loss to Hopkins, this is the fight after the Hopkins fight, by the way. But um, it's so unfortunate that he just, you know, just gave in, basically. I mean, he, there was so many great fights to have with him. I mean, he could have, you know, could have, there was always the rematch with De La Hoya. Oh, he pulverized Mayorga. He ate him up. Um. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, there was always a rematch to be had with De La Hoya. That would have been a big money maker for him. Shane Mosley is a fight that I always just dreamt about seeing. Shane and Felix Trinidad, that would have been unbelievable. I would have favored Mosley in that, but 
I mean, it that would have been a great matchup for sure. Just one of the all-time classics we never got to see, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, guys. So um, you know, let me let me know what you think. Where does Trinidad rank in the history of uh, great Puerto Rican fighters? I know Cotto's up there. Wilford Benitez, of course. Um, uh, Alexis, no, not Alexis Arguello. He was uh, Nicaraguan. I apologize, but um, there was somebody I was trying to think of. Uh, Wilfredo Gomez. Okay, yeah, like uh, I think he was bantamweight or featherweight champion. I know he's up there. Uh, Hector Camacho, of course, you know, but Trinidad actually laid a beating on Camacho back in I believe it was '94. So that was very impressive. He, you know, t he basically dominated that fight. And people didn't dominate Camacho, especially at that time. He was still kind of somewhat in his prime, maybe just a little bit past, but, uh, you know, not much. A very impressive win by Trinidad. Trinidad fought a lot of great fighters, a lot of really good fighters, you know, as as a very young fighter early in his career. Yori Boy Campus, uh, Maurice Blocker, um, like I say, Hector Camacho. I mean, he fought some good guys. I mean, so he had a fantastic career. It's so unfortunate that he just kind of packed it in after the Hopkins loss. He just couldn't deal with it, I guess. Um, some fighters are like that. Like I say, he did have the two really good wins. He had that one win against, I don't remember that guy's name, the following year. But then, like I say, he took two years off, came back strong against Mayorga. Uh, unbelievable performance. Got him out of there in eight rounds. Then after that, Winky Wright came out and then just Winky Wright dominated that fight. I had it 12 rounds to nothing, but um, then he retired again, fought Roy Jones. That was it. So anyway, guys, yeah, that was very, very enjoyable to see those highlights. Trinidad is a beast. All-time great. One of my favorite fighters of all time, for sure. Just brutal. Power, speed, just accuracy, everything, guys. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think, where he ranks in the history of uh, great fighters, period, or Puerto Rican fighters. You know, do you think Mikel Cotto had a better career? I do not, myself. And Cotto's great, all-time great, no doubt. But uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, please just come join the family. God's Mafia, I'm out.